This place is pretty cool. I would totally recommend coming here. Look at that monster truck. I get, we'll get to see that, I think, later. Hi, I'm Brian, and you're watching Someplace or Another. And today I'm at the Bolo Museum in Illinois. And let's go check out the campers. Evolution from wagons, trains, and autos. Okay. Illness was the biggest danger. Oh yeah, they got sick a lot. Think of what they had to eat and live off of. They must have tough stomachs. Don't you think? You got a tough stomach? Oh yeah, it was tough. In search of inexpensive land we and got the, an uh, opportunity, American this, uh, pioneers um, migrated to the Midwest by the thousands shoot. in the mid-1800s. I know the name of this. I can't Traveling think of it. Traveling in a covered wagon was not an easy <laughs> trip. The ride was bumpy and uncomfortable. Oh, man. Can't think of it. Things of animals were used to pull the covered wagons. Mules, horses, and oxen to use. Can you imagine traveling like While that? mules could eat tougher grasses, I mean, horses need you're, grains. You got a wagon, but you're walking next to it. So you basically walked across mules the country. Mules strong. That's a <laughs> To another building. Oh. Wagon power. That's better. Uh oh. A little gunfight going. Well, at least now you get the ride. Maybe don't make it all the way. Thanks to the 1950s Western movies, we all think the <laughs> coach was expensive. I would just say. From St. Joseph, Missouri to Carson City, Nevada, the cost was $200. Ooh, 200 Shorter bucks. trips cost five to 10 cents a mile. Remember <laughs> that common laborers were only paid two to five dollars a day. Okay, so that's high. That wagon's in really good shape. I like it. I think we see a car. You want to take a guess? I'm going to go with Model A. I think I'm probably guessing right. Very nice. I'm not walking along here. Two dollars for a double bed. Oh, this is a tourist cabin. We can listen to the audio clip. The typical tourist cabin was modest with a double bed, a table and chairs, a small wood burning stove, and a wash basin. Many cabins were located near a river or pond for bathing and washing clothes. No shower? While the privacy of the motor cabin no might afford bathroom? the traveler a good night's sleep, it also tended to encourage some illicit activity. <laughs> None other than the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover himself, Ooh. referred to the tourist cabins as camps of crime. Oh, and while it is true that gangsters like John Dillinger and Bonnie and Clyde were known to hide out in them between their crime sprees, that was not the only shady use for them. They were also used by the hot pillow trade, by ladies of ill repute, or couples looking for a romantic rendezvous. <laughs> Vintage campers and trailers. Okay. Solution to those who can't they have fresh house. milk. And by three piggies. The number of trailer camps in America has grown to 15,000, complete with utilities like electricity. They create new the covered wagon from 1939. Across the country, the era of the trailer park has begun. Nice. And parks like this, comfy in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, even comes with heat. 1935 still exists today. By 1936, oh, look, so hardly nice. Will be living in automobile trailers Just like a bicycle. Years. My bicycle has better tires. <laughs> But struggling Americans love their trailers. That's some cool camera. They enable people to get away from it all. Money 
Oh, is that peanut butter in there? A whole thing of it? Wow, that's a lot of peanut butter. That was 117. There's the 28 later, house car. This company is producing 1,000 a month. Each is equipped with conveniences like a bathtub, plenty of room, and even ice boxes. Latest in technology. Top of the line models feature a telephone intercom to your chauffeur. It's quality. It's, it's a Ford. Can't beat that. By 1936, trailer manufacture is America's fastest growing industry, with up to 400 competing companies. Well, only one of two exist. This is but the first some one. Of that boom is spurred by insecurity. Yep. Excel, sir. The depression wipes out thousands of like, Do we need to have one of these original bikes? Or closures become commonplace. Super uncomfortable, but oh, this is a cool take off our shark's fin. The travel trailer offers an affordable housing alternative. The picnic partner. It's cheaper than bricks and mortar and removes the pressure. Oh. Never mind. It's 1884 Columbia. The number of trailer camps High wheel bicycle. Has grown to 15, Pretty cool. Electricity. It's not that tall. Here's a 34 trailers. covered wagon. To some, that's a worrisome trend. One half of the population of the United States will be living in automobile trailers. Ooh, this is mostly unrestored. <laughs> okay. I know at least one person out there should recognize this floor. That's pretty nice. Built the last. Oh wait, there's a room back here. Each is equipped with nice. conveniences like a bathtub. It's a high stove, tech too, they even got a radio. And even ice boxes. There's a little trailer. Top of the line models feature. By 1936, Very trailer nice. manufacture is America's fastest growing industry. With up to 400 competing this companies. 1936. But some of that boom is spurred by insecurity. What we got here? The depression wipes out thousands of homeowners. Foreclosures Very cool. become common. Let's go around the bend. And sales of new homes collapse. Nice. An affordable housing alternative. It's cheaper than bricks and mortar and removes the pressures of rent, mortgage, and property taxes. I guess we'll proceed in this direction. In Detroit, Car designer William B. Stout introduces a larger 15,000, complete with utilities like electricity. They create new semi-permanent communities Whoa. across the country. The era of the trailer park has begun. And parks like this, this one, one's a 1938 New Hampshire, Kemper. opened in 1935, car? still exists today. Kemper car? By 1936, an it's estimated 300,000 Americans live in trailers. To some, that's a worrisome trend. Sleeps. One half of Two? the population of the United States will be living in automobile trailers within 20 years. But struggling Americans love their trailers. Wow, it was stored indoors for 67 years. To get away from it all. The only one known to exist. Money. In 1931, Sherman sells 117. Huh. That's a lot of room Five there. Years later, his company is bringing This one is a, a 38 up, camper. Stove. And even ice boxes. Oh, it's parked in a hangar. Wow, oh, usually five Top or six the times. Top models feature a telephone intercom to your chauffeur. All original. By 1936. But nice. some of that boom is spurred by insecurity. The depression wipes out thousands of homeowners. The travel trailer offers an affordable housing 49 alternative. Air float lanyard. It's cheaper than bricks and mortar and removes the pressures of rent, mortgage, and property taxes. A mobile home. It can be permanently fixed. This is a 49 Spartan. 
It looks like it's had some restoration done. Only one of its kind. <laughs> Little time capsule. Actually, they might have just cleaned it. What do you say, you only used it one time? Wait. This is a prototype. It's a barn find, a real barn find. They got it parked outside, which is it's gonna cover, but we get to go inside. No parking. <laughs> Really cool. I like it. Yeah, it's sparse, but still nice. I want that's a picture of his fam. So if this wasn't finished. They ran out of money before they. So the head engineer took it home and finished it for himself. Pretty cool. It's your kitchen, stove, oven, sitting refrigerator. Get some cooking done. Neat little cock lock. High tech, see we got a TV. Sleeping quarters. And some roller skates. I think I'm going into a caboose. Is it a camper caboose or just a caboose caboose? Their size and power may have changed drastically. It's kind of chilly out today. We fire that up. There were few fundamental changes in how they work. This is pretty speed, unusual. And here's one side of the sun. Like a boost. It's being filmed, pulled the by the uh, and forces the piston back. Locomotive. A series of connected rods convert the pistons back and forth motion to the rotation. Or the fake locomotive. <laughs> okay, so it's steam operated though. Okay, I'll take back my previous comment. I call it steam train adjacent. Steam locomotive. Fruit boss hog. Make a perfect work car. Truck. Never have problems finding a parking spot. Gets good gas mileage. The boss would be your best friend. You know, so you don't park on top of his Porsche. <laughs> you got a carousel? Let's see if we can find it.
tractor bar. We've seen a lot of tractors. Not long after the automobile sit its farm on the tractor followed closely behind. Some of the first primitive tractors were actually modified trucks and automobiles. Oh, I've seen this one before. Oh, this one I've not seen before. Previously, with the use of horses and oxen, farmers spent much time Empire. preparing the animal for huh. the day's work. Animals need to be fed and watered. The tractors did not need all of the extra attention and could be used that for is 12 hours days. Tractors had worked their way into the landscape and had gained acceptance anywhere. on the American farm. The incredible power of the tractor had managed to cut time needed Amazing. to plow. Thanks for watching today's adventure. I will see you guys someplace or another. Have a great day. Bye. Stay tuned for more adventure to come. Subscribe, like, share, and thanks for watching. Bye.